Welcome back everyone to another vlog, though it's not this time, it's not a match day one. Instead, we'll talk about the season so far and the current table and who's doing well and who's doing bad. I'll talk to you very shortly. So, so far we have played 11 games and we are in mid-September and I thought it would be a good time to do a little review so far. It's still early days, there's still plenty of games to go, but as I haven't been to many games this month due to personal issues, I thought, let's do this, let's just talk about the table. Now, I talked about my team Everton United last because I lead on to how we perform, but let's just talk about some teams here. All shot top. Well, that doesn't surprise me. They are being a good team. They beat us 2 0 at home. And they look a good outfit. And I think they're a team that could probably, or definitely, one of the contenders to win the league. Which surprises me. I, just, I, mean, I thought Tramway would be higher than they are. But all shot, I'll take it on first place. Behind them is Dover. Now, they're clearly done well. I mean, I can't fault them. They've second in the league so far. But when every play, they didn't look any special. They didn't look any good. They looked like a mid table team. They're second in the league. Um, I thought they'd finish the season 7th, 8th maybe, but they're 2nd so far. If they continue the way they are, they'll be in the playoff spot easily. Which, even though I don't like him or Kinnear, he's done very well every season in this National League. And fair play at Dover uh, being 2nd. Again, I don't know how, but they are there. Third place is Dagenham Redbridge. Now Dagenham are a team that's expected to be in the playoffs, definitely. And that, that doesn't surprise me whatsoever. Sutton and Mainhead are ever. Sutton and Mainhead, 4th and 5th, and next is Bromley, is 6th place. Surprising teams there, so I, 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 suppose, I, I expected Sutton to be a decent team. They've got a lot of Dover X players, but 4th in the league so far, that's a, quite a shock. And Mainhead lost Tarpy, don't forget, and now 5th in the league, that is crazy. And that shows you just how how uh, well how uh, well drilled they are so far, Mainhead, for being 5th. This is why I don't uh, accept the Mons. Fleet's manager's uh, criticisms um, so far because if Mainhead can do it with a part time, we certainly can do it, and we haven't been doing it. Bromley are sixth in the lead now, they've slipped a bit recently, but still two points off top. Sixth in the lead, doing very well, and playing them is going to be quite scary. I'm not looking forward to that actually. Bromley at home on New Year's Day, I think it is, or maybe Boxing Day. Next is Maystone, who are seventh. And that is surprising. I thought Mainhead Mainstone would be struggling, but again, they've shown themselves to be better than I thought they have been in eighth, seventh place. So we you got three Kent teams in the top seven. So the playoffs, if it stays like this, and I don't think it will do, just out of this, got three Kent teams in the playoffs. That make that make playoffs really cool for any Kent uh, football fan. I'm not, I'm not gonna go to every single team. Let's just talk about who's in the bottom four. There's no surprises here. I don't think Torquay, Solihull Moors, Geisley. And Chester. Now, Torquay have been not been very good for the last few seasons. Sorry, to, to, to Torquay fans, but you haven't been that good. Uh, and that shows sacking manager only four points so far this season. Sorry, Hill Moors, again, not a team that I'd expect, ever expected to be high up in the league. And again, I think this shows it here. Guys, they get through against every first game of the season. Uh, good point for them. But they have not kicked fight. They haven't. They haven't been on fire this season and again they did struggle last season just to finish above relegation zone and this season it could be the season to go down again early days it's only four points from safety I and mean, it's still and 30 games or more to play so it's it's not anything just yet plenty of plenty of time don't get me wrong but and Chester as well teams that don't surprise me being where they are so the bottom four and the top seven definitely I thought just, it gets to says again. Top seven are definitely surprising. Bottom four, not so surprising so far. So hopefully we'll see some changes in top seven. Uh, I, know, I don't want Mason or Dover to be up there. Um, as a big fan. Um, you know, the Dover fans and Mason fans and Bonnie fans will be buzzing for that, I can imagine. Our teams haven't performed. Hartlepool, they're starting to pick themselves up now. They had a really bad start, but they started to pick themselves up. We might see Hartlepool maybe push that playoffs, uh, I think, they're from their form. Let's orient a team that have been so inconsistent. One minute they're really good, one minute they're playing the most worst that we've ever seen. And I think they're going to actually struggle. They might finish outside playoffs where they are. They're not consistent enough to be in that top seven. 
But again, it's still early days. Maybe they can pull something out of the bag. And Trammy is the most biggest shot of the season. And the Trammy fans, I know, I know some Trammy fans watch this. And I mean, if I was you, I'd be really annoyed with the manager. 13 points from 11 games. Not good enough to be a team that finished second last season. Or was it third or one or two? And now be 17th in the league. Again, it's still early days, but not a good start for Tram and Rovers. And they're going to be very annoyed by that. And again, they might push. I mean, teams can, you know, pick for any time of the season. And maybe they might find form later on. But they're doing against everything nil nil. Uh, Saturday wasn't there for the game. Sorry again, wasn't for the game. But um, apparently everything couldn't break Tram and down. Very solid team, but not getting the wins. And finally, let's go to Epsley United, shall we? My team, um, well, not good enough, I don't think. I'm going to tell you my reaction just after someone else's. I've got someone else's actually reaction to this video. Uh, Nathan Holt, I think his name, and a uh, YouTube, um, YouTube, YouTuber, fantastic YouTuber. He's got over 100 subscribers already, growing, outgrowing my channel by a massively amount and deserves it. Really good videos. And he's going to tell you his opinion on the every season. And when he's done, I'll give you my thoughts as well on how everything I've have played so far this season. So without further ado, let's see what he has to say. Hello, I'm an Epsom United fan, and I vlog most of the game, so if you like Epsom fans content, make sure you check out my channel. It'll be much appreciated. The season so far has been pretty disappointing. We've got nine draws uh, in, in 11 games. We did beat Maystone, which was a brilliant game. But apart from that, we haven't really had any amazing performances we haven't created enough great chances and that's something that worries me we haven't too many sides with passes and I don't think we can blame the strikers for not getting enough service the wingers aren't getting high up enough and taking their man on and getting around them and that that worries me personally um, we also can't really decide on a formation we're playing five at the back three at the back four at the back the only real position that I'd have certainly is in, in goal. Nathan Ashford has been brilliant, but in terms of centre mids, we haven't, they're more set up to defend, they're not been, the centre mids in my opinion haven't been looking to attack, apart from Jack Powell's free kicks, we haven't really been getting anything from the centre mids role, we need, we need those goals and creativity from there, and we haven't really got it, and defensively we've just made too many mistakes, in the last couple of games it's in the attack, so we've had we've had a couple of issues around the team, but hopefully we can beat Bournemouth on Saturday. If you like my if you like if you like this content, check out my channel. It'd be much appreciated. So welcome back and listen to my lovely voice and my opinions. And I think really it was all summed up perfectly uh, by Nathan. Really, um, goalkeeping Ashmore has been our best player this season so far. He's really kept us in games and really uh, been a real key player in our team. Midfield wise, we're too defensive and we're not playing enough, we're not going forward quick enough. I think going forward, we're slow. We'd be, we're pretty passing around sideways, but not getting any killer passes. We miss, we miss attacking mid to play in that hole. We get a ball to McQueen, through balls, not in the air, not hoofing it up top. Get through balls to McQueen, attacking mid, who's intelligent. You can play the ball out the wings in their way, but also for the middle. And we need to have more ideas. No, no more plan, you know, plan B's, plan C's. Be different. Um, Maman they keeps coming up with excuses saying, oh, it's a tough league, it's tough, you know, uh, we're a small ever fleet. Well, we competed beforehand, and Maidenhead are part-time, are up there in fifth place right now, so we have no excuses. Uh, I don't take a reason. They, they even lost Tarpy as well, and yet they're still doing well. Um, so Maman has to learn, and he has to learn quick. He has to get his team firing on all cylinders. Um, we can do it, we can improve. But we attackively we could be better. Defensively, we're not too bad. We could make some you know, we bit naive in some places. But going forward is our biggest problem and getting getting the goals. We can create chances, we can we can score goals. But we need to create the chances, we need to get those balls to strikers to let them make let, let them have a shot and score a few goals. Um it hasn't been great. Being nineteenth isn't great. I'm not I don't think any Epic fan is been mine out or we hate my mind, we want them gone. But we are concerned. And there are problems which has to be addressed by him and the coaching staff. And he has to learn, he has to learn quick. Otherwise we are going to struggle. We might even be in a relegation battle if we're not careful. Uh, still early days, still plenty to go. And we shouldn't be worried too much. But we have to improve going forward. Um, Ali was at Tranmere and he said that it was a very boring game. 
and every too slow. I agree, everything to be faster, get the ball quicker up top. Counter attack football, get you know, when if they attack us, get back forward, it's go ball up top, let's create a chance, let's, let's make them pay for committing men forward. So, um it hasn't been great, and as a fan it's been frustrating. We don't mind not winning games. Uh, but we could, we should win a few more. Uh, we've only won one so far this season. We should have won two or three or more. That put us right back up. And it's already days. We still got the time, but we are frustrated, annoyed. Hopefully, we can improve. Hopefully, every night we can uh, go up the table and to be challenged and be a really comp competitive team in this league. Again, can't complain that we haven't lost any games. We can't start winning. And McMahon has to shouldn't take it out his fans. He shouldn't be saying, "Oh, they don't understand." We understand. But we're frustrated, we're annoyed, and things have to change going forward um, in that as aspect. But hopefully I'll be at Bournemouth. Uh, if not, then I'll see you guys in October. Until then, hope you all have a lovely few weeks, and enjoy yourself. Hopefully, every week, and we'll start doing better. Up the Reds, come on.